Welcome to Asian English News Bulletin. This is Sayyid Mahir Zaman Mukher with our top stories of the day. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina will address a press conference on Thursday afternoon on the outcome of a recent official tour of the UK and the USA. The press conference will start at 4 p.m. at her official residence, Ghana Pabban. Prime Minister's press secretary is Sanul Karim Say. The Premier returned home early Tuesday after completing her 18 day visit. She went to London on September 15, mainly to attend Queen Elizabeth II's funeral and a reception hosted by King Charles III. On September 19, she left London for New York, while on September 24, she went to Washington, D.C. Sheikh Hasina addressed the 77th session of the United Nations General Assembly on September 23rd. Investigation Committee of the state-owned power grid company of Bangladesh, PGCB, has started its probe to identify the reasons behind the national power grid failure that triggered a seven to eight hours long blackout across most of the country yesterday. PGCB initially formed a five-member investigation committee headed by Yaqub Elahi Chaudhary, representatives from Bangladesh Power Development Board, Bangladesh University of Engineering and Technology Board, and also from other power sector entities following the national grid failure. Later, an, exper an experienced individual who had been working as a consultant with grid system locally and internationally was co-opted in the committee. Jacob informed that the committee will visit substations and power stations and other relevant facilities to identify the reasons behind the grid collapse. Official sources say the investigation committee was given three days' time to complete the probe. Brunei Darussalam Sultan Haji Hassanal Bulkia Muzidan Wadiullah will be visiting Bangladesh from October 13 to 15. During his first state visit, he will hold meeting with President Mohammed Abdul Hamid and Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. The two countries may sign five MOU on labor cooperation, energy, direct air service, seafares and culture during his visit, officials said. Foreign Ministry officials also said under the MOU on labor cooperation, Bangladesh wants that the Bangladeshi migrants get regular salary, minimum wage and insurance. Now going to the internationals, Russian President Vladimir Putin on Wednesday signed legislation to annex four territories of Ukraine government documents showed. The Donetsk, Lugansk, Kherson and Zeporzhia regions are accepted into the Russian Federation in accordance with the constitution of the Russian Federation, the documents say. Putin also signed decrees formally appointing the current Moscow-backed heads of the four regions as their acting leaders. Earlier, the annexation legislation was unanimously supported by both Russia's lower and upper chambers of parliament. Putin last Friday presided over a grand ceremony at the Kremlin during which he signed agreements with the Moscow installed leaders of the four regions to become subjects of the Russian Federation despite condemnation from Kiev and its allies in the West. More on internationals, at least 25 people died on Tuesday evening after a bus carrying 45 to 50 members of a marriage party fell into a gorge in the Bironkal area of Uttarakhand's Pauri district. The bus was on its way to a village in Bironkal from Lalthang when it fell into a 500 meter gorge near the Simri band at around 8 pm. Rescue operations were launched by four SDRF teams which rushed to the site of the accident. Personnel managed to rescue 25 people overnight who were then admitted to nearby hospitals. Now sports, the Tri-Nation T20 series consisting hosts New Zealand and visiting Bangladesh and Pakistan has been named as Bangla Wash T20 Tri-Series. All the matches will be played at Christchurch and this series is being considered as part of the preparation of upcoming T20 World Cup in Australia which will start later this month. The series will start on October 7 when Bangladesh will play against Pakistan. All the teams will play against each other twice before the top two teams will play final on October 13. This is it for now and stay tuned with Asian English News Bulletin and visit www.asiantvonline.com. Take care.